Hey everybody, Boots in the Roots here at Glory View Flower Farm with another quick practical tip for your farm or garden. Not a lot of chit chat or music video montages, just practical tips to get the job done and get you on your way. As you can see, I am under some 10x deer fencing and I will go over how I put up deer netting very quickly. You can see here my tea stakes are in and on a previous video we talked about getting them nice and straight. I have one 4x4 redwood corner post in concrete down at the end and then it goes up to a corner over there by our horse pasture. So I am stapling it to the wood poles. The one over there is about 40 feet away from the corner. Then I'm at the next one here, which is also about 40 feet. I'm using this Ryobi one plus compression drive stapler with the longest staples it'll take. And I have our 300 and some foot roll of 10X down there. I've rolled it down so I can easily push this netting up and down And all I do is get the netting along the ground, just pull it as tight as you can. Of course, it helps to have your ground leveled and clear of debris. And then just get that nice and tight there. Now at the bottom, you're gonna probably have to turn this stapler upside down and get it on there and then work your way up put a staple every few inches maybe five inches then grab up higher and pull as hard as you can again and just work your way on up. Now, you may have noticed that these redwood poles are not as tall as the tea stakes, which are 10 foot stakes. And once they're in the ground, they stick up around nine feet or so. And this deer fencing is seven and a half feet. But we found that seven and a half feet netting has been good enough to keep the deer out. We've painted our tea stakes black, which we like to do here. It just helps hide them in the background. And with the black netting, it really disappears, especially if you're further away. But on the wood posts, there's a couple things you can do. You can either just let the netting flop over and it's going to hang over a little bit, which will not hurt anything really. Otherwise you can take some half inch EMT conduit. They are 10 feet long. And you could slide them in down behind the netting. And then you attach those in multiple places with half inch conduit clamps. They're called two hole straps. All this available at your local hardware or big box store. 
and uh, you would let those stick up above the redwood posts or whatever post you're using and then you can uh, zip tie the deer netting to those once I have all the netting stapled to the wood poles I will come back with eight inch or so zip ties and I will zip tie the netting to them and what I usually do is run the zip tie like this and pinch it through and it just gives it a little extra attention and do that up the T-stake about every eight to 10 inches. So I hope that helps you out with a quick and easy deer netting install. It works good for us. I'm sure it will for you too. Thanks and we'll see you next time.